Hi everyone, Destructo Maniacs here. Today we're going to be telling you how to build a potato cannon made out of PVC. It works by using hairspray that you put in a combustion chamber, using a barbecue lighter as a, that creates a spark which makes an explosion and shoots the potato out. So to do that, you will need some one and a half inch PVC pipe and some three inch diameter pipe. You can use ABS or PVC, but do not mix them. Use the same type for the entire gun. Make sure that your pipe says um, pressure, that it has a pressure rating on it. This is some PVC pipe that is not for pressure. It says right there, big letters, not for pressure. It's noticeably weaker than the three inch piping that is for pressure. You can tell it's for pressure because it will say 260 PSI on there and this one is very weak it feels kind of it looks like it's porous there do not use this I'm not using that here is a 40 or 48 inch piece of the one and a half inch pipe and this is 18 inches I use these dimensions because it is the most efficient for and gives you the most power right? the ideal ratio of the volume of this the volume of that is one and a half to one so that gives you, yeah, that's exactly what this is. I did some math and found out this is exactly what you want. 48 inches for this and 18 inches for this. So this is pretty easy to put together. What you need is some purple, any, I'm sorry, any color PVC primer, some PVC glue, wire strippers, slash cutters, scissors, measuring tape, two screws, doesn't matter the size, a drill, a grill sparker comes in a box like this, some glue, um, a end cap, three inch, and then the screw in cap, looks like this. This goes on top here, and that's where you open up to spray in the hairspray. And then you need some sort of adapter to make this go from three inches to one and a half. There's a couple types. This one is easiest to use, it's just one piece. Three inches there, one and a half there. Just goes on like that and they fit together. Or you could use something like this. This is like a, a three inch coupling goes on there. And this piece, the one and a half fits in here. And this goes in here and you glue those together. I'm gonna be using this one because it's easier to use. You're also gonna need some electrical tape. And, okay, let's get started. First, I'm going to do the sparking mechanism. Um, I'm going to first cut off the ends of the wires. Don't need all this. And then I have to strip the ends of the wire. Just take, it's like a centimeter off, not a whole lot. So the grill sparker will works when the two wires are close together. Probably won't be able to see this, but creates a little spark right in between them. Oh, not there, that shocked me. There, I don't know if you can see that. Does it show up? Yeah. And there's no batteries in any, or anything in these, they're pretty cool. So I've never tried this before, but I'm going to drill um, holes and put the screws in. And the screws will be close together and then the wires will be attached to the end. First thing I'm going to do is um, mark in the middle of this, that's where I want the holes to be. So this is 18 inches wide, so I'll mark 9 inches. It doesn't have to be exact, it's not a huge deal. And that's where I'm going to put my first screw. The screws have to be pretty close together inside, so 
You want them to be angled in. So I'm just going to put one in first. And start drilling. Alright, so you can see in there, that's about how far we want it to go in. And yeah, that's pretty good. It's in there pretty well. I'll probably use some glue just to keep it from opening up. And now I need the other one to go in just about here. It's going to be a little tougher. Um, about here should be good. Alright, so you can see they're pretty close together there. That's about how far you want it. Now I just need to test it, see if we can get the spark. Good, that works really well. Um, you probably won't be able to see it, but it's just a spark in between the ends of the screws, just like before. And the screws are in there really well, nice and tight. Now I'm going to, I'm going to attach these later. I'm just going to glue the end cap on now. So first, I'm going to take a wet rag, clean the end off. Alright, now I'm just going to use this wet cloth and just really quickly wipe the ends anywhere where it's going to be uh, glued. So, at both ends of that pipe, both ends of this pipe, um, the screw, and just the end without the threads, and the reducer. started now using primer and the glue. First I'm going to put the end cap on. So to do that I'm going to put a bunch of the purple primer first on, not a whole lot, this stuff's really messy and there's a lot on the sponge. So it goes just around the edge. All around. Now the cap. And then you have to be quick on the next part. While it is still wet, get your glue. And put on right where you put these wet primer everywhere. But not you want it to be a good coat, but not gloppy, because then it will not be as strong. Make sure it's on there really well everywhere, but not 
you don't want blobs of it. Nice even coats. But it doesn't have to be perfect. Now you hold them together for 30 seconds. As you can see, it is now nice on there really well. It's pretty strong, but it takes a while to cure, so don't shoot it right away. Time for the adapter, this part here. So get your primer ready. It's going all here. Okay, now we'll put the cement on. So this stuff actually like morphs the two pieces of PVC together. It's really strong. Continue holding it together, pushing down. Okay, that's ready. And here's where the cap. There's the cap. It just goes right over there. And that's our combustion chamber. Time to add the barrel ready to go. Now we're going to put primer here. Don't need it on the outside there. I probably should have done that. Oh well. Here's the barrel. This end. Time for glue. So I've only put glue on the inside of this, and that is too much there. Push it all the way down and hold it. Now we're going to attach the grill sparker. Um, I'm going to strip it a little longer. So cut those. I think an inch will be okay. We'll see. Maybe a little longer. I don't know. Longer the better. Perfect. Do about the same on the other end. Good. Can do a little longer on this one. So if you look, there's still these weird strings, so I'm just gonna cut those off. Don't know why those are there. A lot of wires happen. Now I'm going to wrap each one around the screw and then we'll tape it. First the black one. I'm going to strip it a little more. It's easier that way.
Okay. Do the black one on the right. So I just tied a little loop and then I'm going to wrap it around. Hope this works. I have not seen this anywhere. I'm just coming up with this kind of on the spot. Okay, I guess that's wrapped around there pretty well. We'll tape it now. Nice and tight. Good. Now the white one. Keep it near the top of the screw. See that little loop I have? Then wrap it around. So the current should just go right through the screw, hopefully. All right, those are both attached. Not sure that was from. That's interesting. That was probably some of the fumes from the glue. Yeah. So we know the sparker works. We know the cannon works. I'm not going to click those for a while.